Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to create a simple business requirements document, otherwise known as a BRD. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, what is a BRD and why is it needed? A BRD is simply a document which lists out all the different requirements that are needed for a particular project. So in simple terms, it's a bit like a wish list that's created by the business and the developers or the tech team will use this list to execute and ultimately deliver the project requirements. So now the fun part and time to go through a practical example. Here is a simple BRD, which I created on Excel, but you can do this on Word, PowerPoint or any other application. There really is no right or wrong approach, but typically I've done many of my BRDs in the past on Excel. So I'll be showing you an Excel example today. So I've gone ahead and created a hypothetical scenario of a food delivery app. So in order to launch this app, we will firstly need a set of requirements. So the tech team can basically code these wants and make the app into a reality. So the first thing we will need to create is a ID column. So each requirement will need its own unique ID. And this is actually really important because if something goes wrong with a particular requirement, you can refer directly to the ID rather than reading out the entire requirement itself. And the ID can be literally anything. So I've just created BRD01, 02, and so on. As long as it's logical and it makes sense to your stakeholders, that should be fine. Now it's time to write out your actual requirements, AKA your wishes and your wants. So if we take the first example, BRD01, I want users to be able to log in with their username and password or continue as a guest. So that's my first requirement that I want from the app and I've captured it within this section here. Once we've got the requirements nailed down, we will need to prioritize them. So we will need a column called priority under which there are three options. We've got must, should, and nice to have. So the items, the requirements that are an absolute must and the project cannot go live without them, they would be labeled as must. And the non-essential items would be should or nice to have. Similarly, there's a column called delivery under which you've got MVP, which stands for minimum viable product. So this basically means that the bare basic version of your product to get it live as quickly as possible would be classed as an MVP version. And often this is done with apps where they release apps in the market and then you'll see upgrades over a continuous period because you want to get the product live as soon as possible. Then you've got medium term, which is similar to should. And then you've got North Star, which is your more longer term aspirational items, which can actually wait and are not essential to the MVP delivery. So in all honesty, you probably don't need both columns. You can get away with one, but these two columns or the priority column will help the tech team understand the priority order and the pecking order. So they can focus on the essential items and get the project delivered as quickly as possible. Moving on, we also have a column for timeline where we have um, Q1 going until Q4. But again, these dates will vary based on your project length and typically it will correlate with the priority order. So probably if it's a must, then it should be sooner. If it's a nice to have, then it's probably later in the year. We also have a column for contact or owner. And this essentially is um, an indication in terms of who actually owns this requirement um, or which team owns this requirement. And this will basically link out to another tab called stakeholders, where you would list all your different stakeholders who are involved in this project. And again, that's good practice to have, but it's not essential in all BRDs. But again, it is good practice if you do have an owner um, column as well. And finally, we have our comment section to capture any further details. So for example, coming back to our first requirement where users should be able to log in with their username and password. In the comment section, I've just added that the username should be the email address and the password should be eight characters long. So here you can use this space to add any detail you like, which doesn't quite fit in the requirement section. Um, but yeah, it's just a good place to capture any further notes. So this was an example of a simple business requirements document. I would love to hear your feedback, especially if you've created BRDs in the past or if you need to create one for work. Do comment down below. It'll be great to read your feedback. And overall, if you've enjoyed the video, do subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. That will really help with the algorithm. 
But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.